So I've run this through the die cutting machine. As you can see, there's a lot of detail here, um, but I've run it through and now I just need to take the wave element away from the die. Lots and lots of little bits there. So much detail, it's really, really intricate. Now I'm just going to snip, just take my scissors there and snip down the spine of the card to the top there to release the top part of the wave. So you've got that wave shape. And then you just take your pokey tool or uh, a brush and just remove all these little pieces to reveal all that lovely detail within the wave, the crest of the wave and the splashes and the foam. So there's the beautiful front of the card wave die uh, used without the outline. So that stayed as part of the card base. And of course you can come in with any sort of sea themed color and put that behind on the base of your card if you want you to really make that stand out. But I do also really like the way it looks when it's just white and white. And obviously the darker the color you use, the more it's going to stand out. Now, if you wanted to, you could also take this die and you could cut around. So if we were to open this up, place your die down around the edges. If you were cutting this into a larger piece of cardstock and you would cut that shape out as well, rather than it remaining intact along this edge. So there's two options for you for using the wave die. Of course you can go in and you can also snip areas out. And it's absolutely perfect to bring something like the, uh, the lovely Wally the Whale here. So from the Sea Creatures die set, it's really lovely to have something like that splashing inside the waves. Let's just put him in there and a nice dark color behind. Look at that, beautiful. So that's your Wavecrest panel die set and you can buy this and everything else from the Deep Blue collection over on Craft Stash.